Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. And today is Tuesday the 25th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning a couple times in the night. Dog had to go out, so I kind of got up a little earlier than I really wanted to, but it is what it is. So luckily he didn't have a mess in the house, which is always a good thing. So went ahead, got him out, um, got the puppy out, got them both fed, took care of all that stuff that needed to be done. Then from there, I um, had a couple things to get done around the house, nothing major. I started a, uh, another little print running on my printer, uh, letting it run as I basically had a couple things to get done. Had to take my father-in-law to the doctor, and um, basically we were leaving at 9.45 in the morning. Going to be there at 10.45. It's 40 minutes or so up there, kind of thing, depending on traffic. So it's like no big deal. It's all good to go there. So we were kind of getting a few things moved around and whatnot. Just kind of make sure the dogs were good to go that when I took off so how are you guys doing today well hello puppers so I went ahead and I was just about done um, the dogs all settled in I grabbed my cooler because I was gonna hit Sam's Club when I dropped him off the doctor's office I didn't remember Sam's Club real quick just grabbed the coolers my wife wanted some potato salad and chicken salad and I figured I might grab some frozen as well to kind of help keep that stuff cold longer plus I threw in a half gallon jug of frozen water so basically it was in that whole process there went ahead and i was just about ready to take off to um, go get him mom goes richard's coming over which is the father-in-law i'm like what he's kind of said ignore him i said i don't need to come in like we're even like four minutes like what the hell senior stuff and this and that so i went ahead and i was getting things and next thing i know so she goes basically she's by the front window so she leaves he goes up and knocks on the door and of course the dogs bark and go crazy i'm like the fuck i was hoping he's gonna stop like the driveway or something i'm like what the hell so I had to go over, open the door. I'm like, what do you want? He goes, well, when are we leaving? I'm like, yeah, at 9.45. And he goes, oh, I said, it's 9.40. He goes, oh, you got a stickler on it? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I am. We're taking the truck across the street that's over there in your driveway. So yeah, go over there. Like you just knocked on the door because the dog's all riled up and stuff again, which sucks because I'm in the process of leaving. So I still have a couple things to finish up. I'll be over there at 9.45. So he's like, oh, oh, oh yeah. I've told him before. Please don't come knock on my door. You have a cell phone. Call me, text me, whatever. Don't knock on my door. So we the dogs up. Just not, it sucks. Just don't do it to me. Just come on, man. He's like, oh, da, da, da. so he heads back over. And of course, at that point, it starts to rain. It starts to drizzle. It's not raining hard. But I think what he was hoping for, because when he comes over the house, he's hoping I'll take the Corvette. And he gets right in the Corvette. But I'm going to Sam's. I'm going to get a bunch of stuff. Who knows what I'm going to get. And two, I don't want to drive, I don't put my top up on my bed. I I haven't had it up in crap, like a long time. Like it's, I, I don't know, since I bought the new house, I haven't had the top up on the bed. And there's no reason to put the top up. They have a convertible for a reason. And it's drizzling, and it's gonna rain. So I put my top up, and that's not what I want to do. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So he heads back to the truck. I grab the rest of my stuff, put it in the cooler, and walk over there. I get to the house at 9.45. So he's been sitting outside for four minutes in the rain. And it's just a drizzly rain. But he doesn't even go stand up underneath the porch. He's going go back in the house and dang, I'm like, whatever. So we get in the truck and we basically head out. Um, get up there and because normally he's late when I pick him up for everything. Like there's times like he won't even be out of bed yet when I'm getting to his house and I drive it to Orman. So at least it's better he's ahead of time, but it's annoying that he's knocking on my door. So we get up there, drop him off the doctor's appointment and we're early because normally i you know i plan on leaving about 8 9 45 and then by the time he gets ready and gets out and stuff and whatever and whatnot usually later but we get there early drop him off and then basically I head over to sam's club i hang around sam's i tell him hey sam's club's really bad about the metal in the building i don't always get my text right away so if you text me saying you're ready to go and i'm don't respond in three or four minutes call me because calls usually go through texts don't go through as well so he's like okay so he heads in i made sure he had his phone like we're good to go so I head over to Sam's, walk around, kind of looking at stuff and wait until the end to pick out my cold stuff. So I want to sit in the cart, getting warm on me. So I do a little shopping here and there. It's kind of killing time around Sam's, grab my soda, grab the Hershey's Kisses for the father in law my wife wanted me to pick up. And got two giant, like five pound bags in there, massive. And I was like, okay, cool. Went ahead, had a couple other things. Kind of killing time, found a propane, I guess fireplace, for lack of a better term, like a little fire pit, but it's propane powered. It's just little flames. Give you a little heat, but mostly it's for looks kind of thing. So and it was on sale like $70 off. So made it like 80 bucks instead of the price it was. So it's like, you know what? I'd pay 80 bucks for that. So 
grabbed it, grabbed a couple of items and stuff I needed, and then kind of just killing time, waiting for him to text me and say he's ready to go. I'm not sitting on a parking lot forever and gave up. I was bored. I was done at Sam's. So I went and grabbed my cold stuff, headed back out. As I went to leave, uh, it's raining out pretty hard and everybody's like blocking the way. So I can't get out of the store. Like they get like where it's out at like the edge of the door, the ring cover. And I'm like, guys, you need to, what's raining? I'm like, you need to move over. Like there's nowhere for me to get my cart to get through here to get out of here. But it's raining. I'm like, I don't give a shit. I'm like, wait for our cart. I'm like, I don't care. I'm, I have nobody to bring me a car. So I'm walking out in the rain. So I push my car in the rain. It's not raining that hard. I'm walking in the rain, don't give a shit. See that people trying to run and stuff and people tripping and whatnot. I'm just like, it's raining people. It's Florida, it's gonna rain, no big deal. So I head out, load myself up my truck, go put my cart away, and then head over to uh, pick him up at the doctor's office, get there, park, and I can see the front door right back into if I can see the spot in case he comes out one round looking for me. Don't hear from him, don't hear from him. So I'm sitting there a while, light up a cigar, killing some time. Still there for quite a while. And this appointment I said is it gonna be like a 15 minute or like a two hour. He goes, I have no idea. It's just a follow up thing. So I'm like, okay. So I sat there for what seems like forever. And I text him, same as I do last time at the doctor's appointment. I text him and said, hey man, are you still in there? You know what's going on. Less than a minute later, text back, I'm done. And I'm like, really? You really? That's what happened last time. It felt like within two minutes, I'm done. And I'm like, did you forget to tell me you were done? Like you're just gonna sit in there, you're hanging out, watch people walk in the lobby. Like, what the hell are you doing? So, I know I got a good timing, it's like spiny sense of when things are time to go and do stuff, but I find it very unlikely that two days or two trips in a row, the last week or two, that hour and a half appointments I somehow nail within one or two minutes of him being done. So, I was just kind of like, yeah, whatever. So, I don't know if he's like forgetting to tell me or what's going on, but it is what it is there. So, I went ahead, uh, pulled over, picked him up. Um, loading up the truck, brought him back home, gave him his hearse's kisses, and I started loading all my stuff, brought all my stuff to the house, I brought my first load in, went and got my dolly, went back and got my sodas and my fire um, pit, so I only hit and it was all good to go. Loaded it up, headed back, everything was good. Hung out the house with dogs for a while. Um, the poor puppy, he's just, he's sad. He has nobody to play with. Bruce is not really into playing with puppies that much because he gets, he's old. And he gets tired of them pretty fast so no other dogs here at the house just the puppy and bruce so it was kind of what it is so went ahead spent a little extra time giving the pup some belly rubs and spent a little extra time with him playing with him and that went ahead and decided to start a 26 hour print on my 3d printer thought i'd give it a try see how it goes and basically started up and it prints the rest of the evening and it prints the night so we'll see how well it turns out tomorrow yeah, if it all gets done and what happens but i was like well it's time to go for a run Went to get my run in, took off, went a little bit earlier than normal, was out running, and was about done with my run, and I basically saw a gentleman who was watching an old um, Plymouth Valiant, and I basically kind of, you know, younger guy, I don't know, he's in his 30s, probably late 20s, whatever it is, and so I mentioned to me about his car, came over and talked to him, looked around, gave him some pointers of things he might want to try and change on it to how to fix his that. He's got a rear door on the passenger side, it's a four-door, and I'm a big fan of four-doors but it's screwed up and he's I don't know if he's done it or if it happened before he got it but he's opened the door into it and it's all bangled the doors up real bad so I was telling him how to adjust the hinges and stuff and how to you know basically work on this older stuff so I showed him where his windshield washer was because I guess it's got like a foot pump in it and it doesn't work so he's trying to figure out where the hoses are and stuff so I showed him where the hoses come out in the up by the windshield and whatnot so I said, just go get a cheap windshield washer pump and a separate thing, hook it to a 12 volt deal to put a little push button on like a horn button and you're good to go. You'll be a lot happier than having that foot pump. It's not worth it. So we chatted a little bit and talked for a while. And then I do road ID. So my phone, if I don't move for five minutes, they'll send me a notification saying, hey, are you still alive? And I say yes. And then it resets. Did that a couple times. My mom apparently like watches the goddamn thing. I sent her a notification because she's on the list of people to notify when I am not moving. Are you okay? You're serious you're not moving? I said, I told you this guy, if it don't send you an alarm, that means I'm turning it off. That means you don't need to text me. So again, I think I'm gonna block my mom from seeing my road ID because it's just super annoying. I don't need her. Like, I'm obviously I'm here. The alarm didn't send off. Now, if you get the alarm that says, hey, he's not moved in five minutes, you might wanna check on him. But that's the only thing. If you just see the dot stop moving for five minutes or 10 minutes or where it is, don't, don't bother calling me. Don't text me, don't nothing. I'm alive. Now, if that alarm goes off, hold it in the world. So, got done with that, headed back home, um, got myself a quick shower, 
went ahead and hung out there. Uh, had, everything else was going good. <coughs> Excuse me. Everything was happening. We ended up having leftovers for dinner. Everything worked good there. Um, I think I might cook a roast in the, uh, on the grill tomorrow. It's not really feeling like firing the grill up. I don't know why. I haven't wanted to fire the grill up. So it might be in the crock pot instead. But we'll see what happens and then go from there. But yeah, wife got home from dinner. I got home from work for dinner. Um, ended up watching an episode of Seinfeld. Ate some leftovers. Finished off the left of our left, left, left of our leftovers. So we're all empty of food there. And then headed back outside, watched my printer run. It's been running for a few hours now. Had a night of cigar, played with the puppy for a bit, and then finally headed back inside, wrapped it up, called it a night. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.